Hey guys, I know photo day is right around the corner, so hopefully this video makes it to you in time. Otherwise, you can apply what I'm going to talk about today to almost every day of your life, or if you're getting ready for something special. Um, so, photo day only happens once a year. It's the picture that's going to represent you for the entire year, so you want to make sure that you don't mess it up. Um, here are some really easy things you can do, and first of all, we're going to talk about finding out what works for you and what doesn't work for you. And basically, it's as simple as taking a look back in time, about three or four years, and just looking at your photos and giving yourself some constructive criticism. Go back, uh, find what works for you, maybe it was a certain hairstyle or the color background you chose for your image, and what doesn't work for you. Maybe it's the way that you smiled or smirked at the camera, a head tilt, not a head tilt, there's many different things to evaluate. You know, your clothing that you're wearing. So that's a great starting point. Look at three or four years worth of pictures and see what you like the best. Um, and the, I mean, that's all I have to say about that is just find out what works for you. So moving on to your wardrobe. This is really important because this picture is all about you and you wanna make sure that you represent yourself well and that you're not taken away from your beautiful face with a very distracting shirt. For the most part, or at least in my experience, the backgrounds for these images are usually a gradient or some kind of textured background. Make sure that your shirt that you choose is a solid color, something very neutral, and something that works well with your skin tone. Um, please avoid patterns, um, textured shirts, things with a lot of detail, and especially, especially anything with a large logo that goes across. We don't wanna see Abercrombie plastered across your shirt or some other weird brand, just do something neutral. I think this would be a great option. This is a nice dark uh, fitted, black fitted shirt from H&M. And I would say in general, H&M is a great place to find clothes like this. I'm actually a big fan of it because it fits me very well. It has a nice, you know, tight fitted collar. It's not baggy. And as you can see, all the attention, especially in this video, is on my face. You'll never see me wearing anything with a large logo or a lot of patterns because it's just distracting and in general, on camera, it doesn't look all that great. So when it comes to choosing a, um, an outfit for your photo, photo day, excuse me, make sure you choose something solid, something very simple. It doesn't have to be a crew neck t-shirt like this because this could be a little bit too casual, but maybe a nice button down. Um, you know, I don't think a tie would necessarily be appropriate for photo day. I think it's a little bit too dressy, but you know what? If that's your style, then go for it. So that's wardrobe. Next, let's talk about your hair. Now, when it comes to photo day, uh, if I haven't said it yet, photo day is not the time to try something new. Um, like I said, this is the image that's gonna represent you for the entire year. So make sure that you, know, you stick with your style, make sure that you have a nice fresh cut. Definitely do not get your hair cut the day before photo day because heaven forbid, you know, you don't like the way it's cut or whatever, I usually say about four or five days before is a great time to get your hair cut. That way, it can kind of settle in, you'll know how to style it perfectly, and uh, you'll be, most of all, comfortable with it. So stick with your hairstyle, um, don't try anything new, no new hair colors, no Rihanna, shave one side of your head type of thing. Um, go with what works and uh, save the new look for the day after photo today, because that's when you can really start having some fun. All right. Finally, let's talk about your face. Now, before photo day, you wanna make sure you get a really good night's rest. That's really important for making your skin look absolutely flawless. A good night's sleep is more important than anything. Also, making sure you stay hydrated. So drink lots of fluids for the first couple of days um, before photo shoot, your skin will be nice and radiant, healthy looking, nice and plump. And um, then when it comes down to photo day, there's one product that I strongly recommend even though, yes, it is made by Maybelline, which is considered makeup, and I don't really care because if you wanna look good and you're watching this video, most guys can probably use this advice. Now, I have recommended this product to so many of my friends and everyone absolutely loves it. It's just a powder, can you see it? And it's by Maybelline, okay? And I'll show you the bottom of it right here. Okay, see Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder, and this one's in medium. Okay, now medium is gonna work for most people's skin tones unless you're really light. They make a light shade too, and I think they also make a translucent shade. But basically, it comes with a powder puff and it's just a loose powder. So you can see it, like that. So it's just a loose powder. 
and you can use the puff that it comes with but that's not the best way to put it on the best way to put it on is with a brush and you can get a very inexpensive powder brush like this from the drugstore and it's not going to break your bank it's only going to be about five dollars but basically you take the powder put it there and you put it on now why i recommend this as a really really important product to use on photo today or anytime you want to look really great is because this is a completely um, translucent powder that's just going to completely minimize shine on your face um i promise you when you put this on as long as you don't use too much no one will ever know that you're wearing powder even if they're this close to your face i mean you can't really see it on my face and i have someone right now so you put it on like that and just kind of smooth around and you don't want to use too much so like i said just one brush the whole thing and that's it it's done and it completely takes down the shine gives your skin a nice polished look you won't look like you're wearing makeup but when the flash goes off you're gonna look really really awesome on camera and it'll make your picture not to mention that it's great for every day of your life because it is so sheer and no one will be able to tell that you're wearing makeup um, however, I can understand how a lot of people wouldn't be comfortable with it, but again, we're not trying to change the way we look, we're just trying to enhance it. And like I said, if you're trying to look great on picture day, then what's better than a little bit of enhancements to reduce the shine or oil on your face. So I really like this product, super easy to find in any drugstore, along with a really inexpensive brush. This brush happens to be from Sephora. But um, a powder brush and a little bit of loose powder will go a long, long way. And I've had this for a long time too. So what can I say, guys? That's it um, for other blemishes. Like really, like maybe if you had the one really big pimple, I would recommend trying a little bit of concealer. And I have another video on how to select the proper concealer, but it's a little outdated and I have a lot of new tips. So maybe there'll be a new one coming up soon. Um, other than that, guys, good luck in school this year. And I hope you have a great photo to go with a great year. All right, guys, thanks for watching and uh, take care.